So as it stands, Kenya has not won any game in the Dubai Sevens. We want to quickly run through the results of uh, Kenya at the Dubai Sevens from the matches that were played yesterday. Remember, Kenya lost to Scotland on a 35-14 scoreline. Kenya lost to France on a 21-17 scoreline. Uh, scoreline. Kenya lost to Fiji on a 43-12 scoreline. And today, earlier in the morning, Kenya lost to Spain on a 26-19 scoreline. And also remember against uh, Japan, the scoreline was 26-17. Those are the matches that Shuja has played, and they've not won a single match. And right now, I'm joined by Eric Njiru from uh, Raga House. Good afternoon, Eric. Good afternoon, Eric, if you can hear me. I mean, it has been an awful outing for Shuja in Dubai. Outing that you were expecting, although it's quite a young court, but losing all, I think, five matches, not really quite uh, something that you were expecting as the country and as the fans. Well, Eric, is, is the blame going to be, you know, set on the young squad that was selected or what, who is go, who is Pau, you know going to uh, to blame on this we can't quite really blame the white young squad because they were doing their thing and you know for you to earn those cups like akina collins in jera for you to play those 270 matches you need to start from somewhere and as you can see we had kenyan players who had gone to play in the ripper chart the senior players i think up to five then they were two were injured so that is the situation we were in, and we want to take a team there to Dubai Sevens. And we can say they were obviously so many making their debut, others they, they didn't have that experience, but we can't quite blame them. We can say they tried, although they did not try as much as we would have wanted. They would have at least gone for, for a game like the game against France. I think we had come back to at least take a lead, but France managed then to score that try to make it in 2017. So I think they tried, but they would have gone a step ahead more than all they have done, losing all five matches. Mm -hmm. Now, Eric, uh, I mean, when you take a look at uh, the results from all the matches that Kenya has played in Dubai, I mean, Kenyans and rugby fans in the country, you know, had an hope that, yes, we lost to France, we lost to Scotland, we lost to Fiji, but against Spain and Japan, probably we should have won. Yeah, exactly. That is the point, because if you look at Spain, Spain on Amua promoted to the season, to the series the other season, then Japan, they were promoting last season, so... And losing these both matches, we lost 1926, 1926, which is just a try. They would have done at least because I saw that their tackling was not that so good. Our defense was like the weird lapses in defenses. So at least today, me I expected after losing those three matches, Ghana at least today would have done well by at least trying to win the first game that was Spain and maybe now go on to to at least win that challenge trophy and pick at least a few points here in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So, from, from your own opinion, what did we not do right in Dubai? I think, from, our, from my own opinion, we, our defense was not really quite well, and the charcoals that we were making them, that is one place that we were really going wrong. Mm -hmm. If we could have improved on that at least, because if you can see that, like this game against France, and also Fiji, and also Spain and Japan also, if our defense was at least good, we would have tried, we would have done better. So if we improve on defense and obviously do it to start with, maybe we can have something next weekend. Yes, uh, do you think the expectations are too high for these boys? I mean, yeah, last the season... Yeah, expectations, they are too high, man. Listen, these guys, yes. most of them, they are, this was their first outing. Yes. Went to Dubai Sevens. Mm -hmm. And they have never played, they have never played any other tournament. Yes. Others, they have been in the squad, but they have not gone out. So I think the expectations were too high for them. Look at the other teams. Look at England, experience, experience. Look at South Africa, looking so good. Look at, look at, look at who are called Fiji. They're looking so good. Look at New Zealand. I mean, the expectations from Kenyans, people are expecting the same, the same performance that you get from the likes of Collins in Jera. I mean, you can't get that. We are missing, let's say, five players who are in France. Then the likes of Sikuta, Brian Tanga, they are not here, Bill Ozeambo. So in fact, you're missing a whole team. You cannot expect Kenya to perform the way they perform when the other guys are there. So I think the expectations were too high. Maybe we would have tried at least now to expect them at least to do better, but, but not perform like the other guys when they're in. Mm -hmm. So uh, who's your bet on uh, to win uh, Dubai Sevens? I think so far so good. If I look like now, I've, I've seen those semi-finals, how they're looking. 
England are playing New Zealand, Australia are playing USA. USA were looking so good in the morning. I'm going for for a final between New Zealand and USA, and I think New Zealand will take it. Well, thanks a lot, uh, Eric. We will be sorry to Mike Friday, our guy. Okay, we'll have to wait and see if uh, your prediction is right. Of course, Eric Njiru from uh, Raga House explaining to us what went wrong for Shuja at the Dubai Sevens. Remember, Shuja has failed to win a single game in the Dubai Sevens. If we can quickly still go through the results of Dubai Sevens, the games that Kenya has played. Remember, five games, and in those five games, Kenya has not won a single game. Against Scotland, it was 35-14. Against uh, France, it was 21-17. Against uh, Fiji, 43-12. These are the matches that were played yesterday. It was the group stages. Now, early in the morning today, that is Saturday morning, Kenya lost to Spain. 26-19 in the Challenge Cup quarterfinal and the match that was played at noon that was between Kenya and Japan which was the 13th place semi-final Kenya lost to Japan on a 26-19 scoreline so Kenya has not won any game in the Dubai Sevens the first leg of the World Seven series that is going on in Dubai remember the final will be played at 6 p.m. Kenyan time. Now let's move away from uh, Dubai 7s. We want to come right here in studio. Remember, we are talking about chess, the preparations for the national championships that will be held on the 12th of December right here in Nairobi. And in studio, I'm 